This video shows you how to use the PHP Snippets plugin for WordPress 3. And what this plugin does is it lets you add your own PHP code to WordPress posts or pages or custom post types using WordPress short codes. So uh, I'm going to add a new movie. This would be a custom post type that I created with the custom content type manager. And uh, what you'll see is in your main content block here with the WYSIWYG editor, you'll have this new tiny MCE button, which when I click that, I will see a list of available snippets. And uh, when I click it, it adds a short code into my poster page. And uh, that's all well and good. In this example, I could do, uh, oh, if I know a post ID, I can link to it. And uh, when I publish this new poster page and then view it, you'll see that that code executed. So I have a link now. Okay, so that's well and good, but you're probably more interested in adding your own PHP. So how does that happen? Well, you'll want to set up a directory that will contain your custom snippets. So under the settings menu, you'll see this new uh, menu item for PHP snippets. And you need to paste a directory in here. And this needs to be a full directory, not a URL. So I have a, a directory here where I have some snippets. And you'll want to make sure that uh, your code uses a .snippet.php or if you have some other uh, folders in here you'll want uh, anything in those subfolders to use that snippet.php extension. The reason that for that is if you have uh, a lot of uh, included files or whatnot you just want this one to show up on the radar so to speak. So I want that directory to be my my snippet directory so in a bash I can uh, do a pwd command and get that full path, copy copy it in there and update it. And now when I go back to add or edit a poster page, when I click on the snippet button there, it's showing my my snippet, right? Which when I click it adds a short code. Now you may be wondering how do I edit my code so that it has uh, the correct description and a sample short code. It uses a sample header, an information header, pretty much the same idea as what WordPress plugins and WordPress themes do. So you just need two items in here for now. You need a description that describes what's going on there and that's what shows up here. And the sample short code is what gets inserted when you click on that link. So just to give you a different example here, I'm going to change this and uh, we're going to change the arguments here. I'm going to save that and then uh, when I refresh this it gets the new description and then clicking it will give the new set of arguments. Okay and the last thing, uh, any argument that you pass over here in your shortcode whatever your variables are, those will show up here in your code. So if I passed argument, or sorry, y, I can add that to my code here. And then when I save this, I should see that the y parameter gets passed with whatever value I have for it there. Okay, so let's view this and just verify that that is in fact what we're seeing. And there we go, I printed out the contents of the y variable back here. And uh, one other thing would be if you want to do a full tag, and that would be something where you use a closing tag. So anything in here will get passed to a variable called content. So if I'm in here and I want to actually, uh, I'm just going to go with something like this and print content just to demonstrate. Uh, now when I view this post and it runs that code, you'll see that it gets the content. Okay, so that's my quick overview. Again, you put your own code into your own directories and all you got to do is give it a .snippet.php extension and uh, such as this and you can be either in your snippet directory or in one folder deep just like WordPress plugins. Uh, can't go any deeper than that, but as long as you've got that, it shows up on the radar, and then you can quickly add those to your WordPress posts or pages. Hope that's helpful. Happy coding.